Each week during this Hebrew month of Elul, we'll send you some inspiration and information in preparation for the upcoming High Holy Days. We hope the ideas provide insight as you anticipate your holiday observance. If you have questions about High Holiday service attendance and participation, please contact the Congregation Bethel office, the Shana Tova. Hayom Harat Olam, Hayom Ya'amid Bamishpat. Today the world stands as at birth. Today all creation is called to judgment. We recite these words from the High Holiday Machsor after each of the times we sound the shofar in Musaf. We recreate the worlds of our experience by raising ourselves up to imagine rather than despair, to hope not to worry, to reach for more, not settle for less. This is our greatest challenge and need. After we sound the ram's horn, the shofar, we declare our redemption. Ayom harat olam. Today our world is created anew. Life is a gift. We are born. We may give birth and enable the lives of others, but we each receive our own life through no effort of our own. Life is the most precious gift any one of us ever receives, followed only by the gift of love others give us, if we are so fortunate. Hayom Harat Olam. On Rosh Hashanah, we celebrate the miracle and renewal of life, the world's and our own. Life is also sweet and potentially good. The apples we dip into honey symbolize the continuous machsor, the cycle of experience day to day, year to year. Life is sweet in the wonder of all that exists, in the beauty of all that is, and in the challenges we face to make our days and our world good. Life is not always easy. In fact, it can be very difficult. Yet even a hard life contains a few simple moments of kindness, help, and pleasure. Life is sweet and can be made good. One popular Rosh Hashanah custom is to eat apples and honey to taste the sweetness we hope to experience in the new year. Right after reciting hamotzi and eating bread, we dip a slice of apple into honey and then, before eating it, say, Yihiratzon mil fanecha Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotenu, shetechadesh aleinu shana tova umituka. May it be your will, eternal our God and God of our ancestors, to grant us a good and sweet new year. I'm Rabbi Ron Shulman, wishing you meaning and goodness in the new year. Thank you.